one of our city's two amazing World War II shrines to celebrate a great Christmas present to the city of Evansville. Uh, the city of Evansville uh, has been designated a, an American World War II heritage city by the National Park Service. Uh, we are one of 18 communities which received this designation and we were alerted to this yesterday. Uh, in 2020, the inaugural city was Wilmington, North Carolina. So now there are 19 designated cities and we are the only such city in the state of Indiana. Leading up to uh, America's entrance into the war, Evansville's leaders across all sectors came together to coordinate an effort to boost defense production in the city, turning it into a hub for manufacturing ships, planes, and weapon, weaponry to support the war effort. Citizens of all ages uh, contributed their time, finances, and talents to do their part to ensure victory for the United States. Everyone came together in Evansville throughout World War II on every front, and everyone together made a difference in the outcome of the war. Again, we submitted our application for this designation to the National Park Service in December of 2020, and we were notified of the uh, uh, selection just yesterday. The Evansville Wartime Museum and the LST325 are great assets for our community, great reminders of our city's contributions to the war effort. We're blessed that both organizations have outstanding boards of directors, outstanding volunteers and donors who keep these institutions alive so that we can remember our important past. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Donna, Donna Bone from the Wartime Museum to talk more about it from the museum's perspective. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we're excited here at the Evansville Wartime Museum to have this designation come to the city of Evansville. We've worked really hard over the past five 10 years uh, to get this museum going, and this is just another validation of the story that we're trying to tell and part of the mission of the museum to continue to tell generations that follow us what a great uh, contribution this city made uh, to the World War II effort. And uh, we, can't, we can't say enough about that, and we're just thrilled to have this award come to the city. So come and see uh, some of those contributions here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from noon to four. Uh, and we'll be glad to take you around and, and talk a little bit more about the history of Evansville. Thank you. There were a, a number of people worked on the grant application. Uh, I called the mayor's office and immediately they lined people up to uh, help us with the technical details. Uh, two or three of us here at the museum worked on it. Uh, and we have to keep in mind what it really represents. Those people, our community, that worked so hard during World War II uh, to win the war. And uh, it, it's not generally recognized, I don't think, uh, except by academics, but what really won the war was the production of goods and supplies and weapons that came out of America. Britain never would have made it without us, nor would the the Soviet Union, uh, we, we won the war, and Evansville was a major part of that. So this is a great recognition. I'm very appreciative of the National Parks uh, Foundation to uh, give us this, and uh, way to go, Evansville. Yes.